Okay, so the first thing you have to do in order to get your VCR to PC working is install the drivers. That step includes find the CD that's inside the packaging. It's a purple CD. It has easy VHS converter on there, written on there, as well as a few other smaller words. This CD has the drivers on there as well as the software that you can use for editing your recordings later on. So, open up the CD, put it in your computer, and wait for your computer to bring that CD around. Now, do not connect your VCR to PC with the USB cable at this point. Wait until you've got the CD in and you get that up and running. Connecting is going to be step two. We're on step one right now. So I'm going to go ahead down here, my window menu. Nope, not you. Okay. We'll open up my computer. Here's my CD. So I'll double click on that guy. Most computers, some computers will automatically start this. I went in and started it. And now up here, you had says two easy steps. Step number one install hardware driver. That's what we want to do. So I click on that. Over on the left hand side it gives you the instructions if you're operating on Windows XP and on the right hand side it gives you instructions for Windows Vista. The second process, we now have the CD in there, it's ready to go. The second step, turn on VCR to PC, plug in the USB cable to the face of VCR to PC and plug the other end into the computer. And now, you'll see at the bottom right-hand side down here, it's searching and this window comes up. It says, Welcome to the new found new hardware wizard. Now, the instructions on here say, yes, click yes this time only. I'll do that. I'll hit next. And I'll actually, it says, if there's a CD that came with your hardware, please insert that now. We already have that in, so we're doing good. Make sure you click on this first option, install the software automatically, and hit next. It is now going to install your drivers for you automatically. And you will be ready to use VCR to PC in a few short minutes. Now when this comes up, don't worry, this is exactly what it's supposed to do. Hit continue anyways. You can see it's creating just a restore point on your computer. Again, this is normal. This is exactly what it's supposed to do. And now it's installing the drivers for VCR to PC. This allows your computer to basically work with this device so your computer understands what's going on and it's not confused. Now as soon as this finishes, it'll say we've finished. And you'll also get a little bubble pop up down here at the bottom that'll say your hardware has been successfully installed and is ready to use. So it's finished the install. I'm going to click finish. And now it says found new hardware. Your new hardware is installed and ready to use. So you've just completed the task of installing drivers for VCR to PC from ION. Again, I hope this makes this a little bit more easy for anybody out there. Thank you for your purchase of our ION products. If you have any other questions, please post a response to this on YouTube. And uh, I'd be glad to make another video additionally if there's other questions that people have. Uh, and I'm also going to create another video in order to show you how to operate and use the Easy VHS Converter software after you've made your recording. So make sure you click over to that video and I'll walk you through the steps of that. Thanks again. My name is Eric McGregor with ION and this is how to install the drivers for the ION VCR to PC. Thank you.